When you're building your course inside of Moodle, the first question you need to ask yourself is, do you want to add a resource or an activity to your uh, course? So when you click on the Add an Activity or Resource, you'll see that you have a number of different choices. Activities listed at the top are basically different uh, modules that you have students do, and resources are um, important pieces of information that you want to present to students, whether it might be reading assignments, course syllabi, images, audio, video, and so forth. Something that students are going to be able to look at or read through in order to consume some sort of knowledge or information. So in order to add um, resources such as books, files, or documents, uh, folders that contains a series of files, uh, labels which are used to break up uh, pages on uh, a Moodle site, a page itself that uh, might have a number of different resources such as text and images, uh, recording uh, such as a video recording or a URL, a link to another website. All of these are available as resources um, in Moodle. In the next few sections we're going to discuss uh, some of these different resources as well as repositories. Uh, the ability to access some of your cloud storage devices such as Google Drive, Dropbox, or Flickr.